Okay, many dentists have had concerns with clinical photography, so we thought we would go through a session of taking the 14 photographs and go through the different patient positions that would be necessary to capture all 14 photographs. We'll begin by going ahead with the, we'll begin by following in sequence what you see in the 14 page format, except what I'm going to do is simplify it a little bit and take those photos that have the same magnification at the same time. The best way to do this, I find, is set the distance first. For full facial shots, the distance should be set at six feet. And if you look on the lens, you'll see it's just a bit to the left of the five that you'll see on the 105 lens. We'll put the blue background behind the patient. And then open up the f-stop. To eight. Judy, turn a little toward me. Gail, move the background so it's more perpendicular to my camera. Let's sit forward just a little bit. It's a little awkward because I have to move you to the side. And now I'll come in and just say, uh, just smile really big as big as you can. A helpful hint is also to try this with the flash up at 12 o'clock. Smile really big. That's the front view, and that's with the full smile. Now let your lips relax, and we'll take repose. Smile, and not, not smile, just let your lips relax. Okay, I focus on the eyes, makes it a lot easier. Now we'll do the side profile. I'll turn your head to the side. Here we'll hold the side the all the way. I'll move the flash to the nose side, and I'll focus to about the position of the eyes, which is about one third in, at the same magnification. Okay. And then I'll get a close-up view of this, but at this point I'm going to change to F32. And I'll take this at the magnification that we'll use for the full frontal, which will be now at point four. I'm going to take the side view with the smile so we can get approximately from nose to chin. I turn this to about 0.8, nose to chin, and then I just come in, take the picture. Is that the biggest smile you have, Jim? Probably not. Try that. Oh, yeah, that would be it. Real big smile. Okay. And then. The rest, as we look from the front, will all be at point four. And now we can take away the blue background completely. Head in the headrest and turn a little toward me. Now smile as big as you can. And I'll come right in. Now let your lips relax and we'll take repose. That's perfect. Ideal. Okay, so we're following along. That's picture five and six. Now I'll get the arch. Smile really, really big. All you got, and open just a little bit. I'm looking at how level it is. Okay, now I'll focus on the lower incisal edges which would be photograph eight. Open just a little bit. I'm just looking to see how much 
of the lower incisal edge sticks above the lip. Relax your tongue and open a bit. Smile just a little. Now let it relax. Now, okay. Okay, open just a little bit more. I'm just looking for lower lip in repose, and in Judy, it's just about at the level of the lower lip. 